Hi, it's Miss Cruz. I am here with my friend Camila. We are watering the garden. Yeah, and we're spending time outside. Because when you spend time outside, your body feels better. Yeah, and you get to breathe fresh air. Guys, let's read about nature. Let's let's read Out of School and Into Nature. The Anna Comstock Story. Let's Out of School and Into Nature. The Anna Comstock Story by Susan Slade, illustrated by Jessica Lannan. The cover of this book is a little girl. She's holding the book and a butterfly. From the time she was no higher than the daisy, Anna was well about nature. She loved to hold the clothes in her fingers. She wanted to feel it squished between her toes, which is why, why she ran barefoot all summer long, raised skimpy tadpoles into pet toes, and climbed tall trees instead of sitting in their shade. Sometimes Anna just sat watching. One of my joy was going barefoot from early spring until late autumn. That's how she discovered nature's secrets. Leafy moth demonstrated the art of camouflage. Fuzzy bees showed her pollination. And marching ants explained all about teamwork. Through the years, Anna grew like a sunflower. So did her love of nature. Her mother taught her the names of wildflowers dancing in the meadow. At night, she whispered the names of the constellations twinkling in the velvety black sky. Back then, girls were supposed to get married after high school, but Anna's heart belonged to her first love, nature. So she took off for college to learn more of its secrets. Anna studied plants and insects never seen before. Such thousands of insects I never saw before. The more she learned, the more she wanted to share her discoveries. So she began to draw slowly, carefully. Bugs look so real they almost crawl right off the paper. Amazed by her art, a professor started using her pictures during his lectures. Farmers started her detailed sketches to identify hungry bugs feeling their crops. Yet Anna dreamed of creating even more realistic pictures. So she started carving fine lines into a block of wood. When she wrote ink over her engraving and pressed paper on top, magic, a beautiful print appeared. Anna was a fine artist, but she was a scientist too. Peering through her microscope, she studied delicate wings, legs, and antenna to create her art. In her day, most people thought men belonged in science, not women. Anna thought they were as nutty as an oak tree, so she kept on searching and drawing. She created illustrations for an insect book so others could learn about these tiny creatures. In time, she became a nature expert. Then one day, Anna made a surprising discovery. While visiting nearby schools, she realized they didn't have any nature classes. In fact, most New York schools weren't teaching about nature. It seemed other subjects were more important, like reading, writing, and math. Anna knew this needed to change it fast. So she decided to start by teaching the teachers. Anna grabbed her pen and wrote lessons about nature's marvelous mysteries. Caterpillars changing into graceful butterflies, water freezing into six-sided snowflakes, trees turning green and sunlight into sweet sap. Her lessons captivated curious teachers. Soon, nature classes sprouted up in schools everywhere. But Anna believed children should experience nature too. They needed to hold it close in their fingers, feel it squish between their toes. Then nature itself could teach children. So Anna asked teachers to take their classes outside. People thought she was crazy. Didn't she know school rules? Students learn inside, students play outside. Determined, Anna didn't give up. 
She wanted children to become more passionate about wildlife to take care of the environment. Finally, several schools agreed. Notebooks in hand, suiting Trump to the forest and fields. Fascinated by the wonders around them, they stopped and sat watching. That's how they discover nature's secrets. Spiders spinning, sticky webs, brown bags musing upside down, tadpoles sprouting stubby legs, and the children being killed while about nature. News of Anna's outdoor study spread faster than dandelion seeds on a windy day. Soon classes across New York, across the country, headed outside. Because Anna changed the rules, children realized how all living things are connected unique, important, and they wanted to learn more. So Anna decided to create books about nature. Year after year she wrote, she drew, but she always made time for her first love, nature. Anna held it close to her fingers, her lips squished between her toes, until her very last days. Out of school and into nature, the Anna Comstock story by Susan Slade, illustrated by Jessica Lana. What a beautiful book about nature and the wonders of someone being passionate about something, sharing with others, especially in the education field. Thank you for coming to the reading of Out of School and Into Nature, the Anna Comstock story. I hope you liked it. Remember, it's good to spend time outside. It could be gardening, biking, looking at the clouds, playing with bubbles. It's just good to feel nature in your eyes, on your skin. Give it a go. See you later, alligator.